I just tested the brand new SciSpace Biomed agent and by medical illustration. And let me tell you, this has just taken AI to the next level for molecular biology workflows. I've mentioned SciSpace on this channel before and how much the agent can actually do. So what is different with this brand new Biomed agent? So this Biomed agent is purpose built for biomedical research. It's designed to handle discipline specific workflows and queries from genes and pathways, or patients, drugs, clinical trials, and it even automates the entire biomedical research pipeline. And then the biomedical illustrations is also another arm, and this is where you are able to generate high quality biomedical illustrations, which you can use in your manuscript, in your thesis, presentations, or prints. And it does this as easily as just using one prompt where you tell it about the scientific process or mechanism, and this will create a figure for you, which you can revise and refine. And I'll be showing you how you can do this in this video. I really think that this could change a lot for the molecular biology field. It's really shocking how much information you can get from this. So let's go straight into this video. Okay, so let's start off with the SciSpace Biomed agent. And this is what it looks like when you jump on the screen. You can ask any task, you can give any kind of prompt here to do with biomedical research. So you have some examples here already for you. The first prompt that I asked was design and analyze pooled CRISPR screens for this response in human T cells uh, efficiently. So it does take a couple of minutes to get through this because of course it's running through, it's an agent, so it's running through a number of steps, but you can just let it go and it will kind of run through each step one by one and you can come back to it like a couple minutes later so it shows you every single step one by one uh, from the research, designing the library, stimulating CRISPR screening, doing the quality control, identifying the genes, um, visualizing the results, and then it completes it for you and it gives you a full summary. So as I, as I scroll down, I'm able to kind of look at each step individually and I'm able to find kind of major findings, the biological insights, therapeutic implications, and then there's some deliverables that has been created. So for example, they've got the complete screen, they've got visualizations that I can actually use with input publications, so their publication quality. Um, I've got a full eight-week experimental protocol, and I have lots of other things as well, and they're all saved down here. You also have Excel files like this one with protein interactions, so gene A, gene B, the interaction score, etc. And then you can ask follow-up questions. So I've said, do any of the identified hit genes have known druggable domains? or are targeted by existing small molecules. So it's like a follow-up question that I can kind of give to the agent to do another kind of task. Again, it's generated different steps for me and executed this, and it has generated some uh, files. I can really go into depth and the agent is doing all the work for me. And then I can use this to save time to just be a bit more efficient, but also to have reliable results that I can actually trust. I did the same thing for another prompt. So summarize recent Alzheimer's research, highlighting biomarkers, therapies, targets, targets and trials. So this is quite an open-ended question. I wanted more of a summary in general of recent research to do with Alzheimer's. So again, it's used the biomedical agent here. It's got seven steps, it's looking for research, identifying information, searching for clinical trials, and then it will create these visualizations for me and a summary document as well. So again, I've got major breakthroughs that were recent, different targets that the FDA has approved, for example, just a couple of years ago, clinical trials right now, and active pipelines, the results will be coming out in two years time, which is really interesting, different shifts, critical insights, so there's lots of information here. And then we have output files that have been created, as I mentioned earlier, and you have all these files that have all of this information for you. So it's done so much work searching through hundreds and thousands of research papers to be able to find exactly what you want to do with the biomedical aspect of research. So in this case, we're looking specifically at like here, a research timeline. So what will happen and when it should have happened or when it will be completed in terms of like clinical trials, for example. This is a really cool image that SciSpace Biomed agent has created. So you have a number of different kind of research overviews, summaries that you can actually use in your literature or your thesis. So here there's things to do with clinical trials, what's been, uh, what's currently active, what's approved and what's failed. You have different findings in terms of like the impact level. You have different therapies that have been kind of used, uh, different targets and also biomarker types distribution. So all of this is based on the current research that's out there. And as I mentioned, this is not replacing the SciSpace agent that I've spoken about before on this channel. It's simply an add-on. It's an add-on that's an agent that's 
created specifically for biomedical research. It's like an AI co-scientist. So imagine you had someone that was working with you alongside you on your clinical trials or on your th therapeutical research or when you're doing gene discovery or any kind of like genetic work and you just want to pass on a bit of it to somebody else to be able to help you. That's essentially what this agent is like. Okay, so now that you've seen what the agent can do, I want to show you what the biomedical illustrator can do as well. So let's give it this prompt. Create a visual explanation of insulin signaling dysfunction in type 2 diabetes, highlighting certain things. Okay, so it's going to start off by creating a normal diagram with the mechanisms, etc. But then what you will see from this is so fascinating. Look at how in-depth this image is. You have normal signaling and then type 2 diabetes dysfunction. So it's showing you what the difference is in the receptor. Um, you've got the same labeling. I'm looking at the picture. I can see the exact same color used for both for the same item. So that's good. Um, all the labels are there. There's not a single missing label. When I've used tools like this before, there actually isn't one. I don't think there is. I think there's maybe one tool that I've kind of come across but it's not for scientific research. So it's just, it can just create images for you. So this may actually be the first tool that actually created for using AI um, to make biomedical illustrations. But um, yeah, normally like the labels are missing and like, it just doesn't look like something I could present in actual piece of literature or in a research paper or manuscript. But this to me, I wouldn't change anything. This looks really, really good and prof quite professional. Here is a second example. So creating a high level diagram of a single cell RNA sequence um, and showing different kind of bonds and clusters, etc. Again, this one looks really cool. When you open it up, you see that there is all the different steps in terms of the workflow. Again, detail is there. Colors are beautiful. Um, everything is labeled. I really can't fault it. The only thing that you'll then need to do is write a legend. This part is what's really time consuming. And the fact that SciSpace has this new agent that will actually just do it for you, I think is really cool. This one, produce a conceptual figure showing the hallmarks of cancer. I really like this one. You have the cell in the middle and then you have kind of a conceptual diagram with all the five major hallmarks of cancer. I wanna look at one more because I I think it's really cool. This is more to do with the method. So kind of a visual summary of the steps um, within this clinical trial. Again, really clean. You have all the steps. FDA approval is there as well. Um, all the features are there as required. All in all, as someone who actually did a PhD within the biomedical research field and I did CRISPR studies and I did gene mapping and I did all of this kind of cellular stuff. This would have saved me so much time. It provides a really quick solution that is also reliable. And I can't believe that this is literally just from one prompt and there's just so many different ways that you can use this tool creatively. Once you've run your analysis and you have all the information that you need in terms of the actual studies and research, now you can create visually appealing images that are just nice to look at, provide information that is thorough, rigorous, and and trustworthy and is publication friendly as well. I know you're probably desperate to try this out for yourself. So I've left a link down below so you can sign up to SciSpace. And they've also given me 40% off for you guys who are watching. So my viewers get 40% off the annual subscriptions. So you get to try everything that I've just shown you today and save yourself, honestly, hundreds of hours. And if you comment SciSpace, I'll send you a link directly so you don't have to come back to this video to access it again. This is such a game changer when it comes to AI tools and how they are being used within biomedical research. So if you did enjoy this, I would love to know how you might be trying this out in your research and within your analysis or your PhD or whatever it is that you're doing that requires you to sit there analyzing for hours and hours and hours. Let me know if you are going to try this and what your prompt will be. I would love to hear it. And I hope to see you in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. So see you soon. Bye.